So let's see it and say, do that again. He learned the lesson. <laughs> and when Christ comes, Christ along with us will dish out the final lesson. Amen. The explanation of Satan. Amen. The great atonement of Christ, the great plan of salvation, did not end at the cross. Yeah. Three minutes to eight. It will end at the end of the thousand years. Amen. When Satan is burned and destroyed. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. Christ died, that was part of the great plan. He rose, that was part of the great plan. He's applying the merits of his sacrifice, that's part of the great plan. When he's finished with that, and he comes back, he takes us with us, but the plan is not yet finished. For a thousand years, the world is in a terrible condition, and the only person alive is Satan. As he thinks for one thousand years of all that he's done, he's locked in this earth. We're in heaven with God, judging the angels, judging the sinners. 1 Corinthians 6, 1-3. Yes, we will judge angels and sinners. I may preach about that if the Spirit leads me. Yeah. After a thousand years, and we have judged every living person, every living angel that will be destroyed, and we see the justice of God, and we carry out that judgment with Christ as our leader. Hallelujah. We look at the books of heaven to see that every punishment aside is just. Amen. Yeah. Then we all come back with Christ. He raises the wicked dead. And they see what they're about to get. That's when the verse is fulfilled, every knee will bow, Amen. every tongue confess, including whose tongue? Amen. Satan's tongue, that Christ is Lord, Amen. Christ was always just, God was always right, and over all the thousands of years of sin, he was wrong. Then the fires will come down, <coughs> burn them all up. Amen. When that's done, that's when the plan has come full circle. Amen. Then you and I will stand back wherever we'll stand, I won't know. Because Jesus, after he burns up the earth and the heavens, he has to make a brand new earth. Amen. And we will see him do it. Amen. You don't sound excited. Yes. You know, when God made a heaven and the earth the first time, you and I were not there. Adam and Eve weren't there. They opened their eyes and everything was present. But this time, I don't know where he can put us on some planet somewhere. Oh, we're just hanging in space, hang time. And uh, Jesus will say, watch this. Watch this. You know the word I try to get you to trust all that time you're on earth? The powerful word? Watch the word in action. Amen. Let there be a brand new earth. Yeah. <laughs> brand new heaven. <laughs> and we will just, you know the morning stars sign together? Amen. Job 38 verse 7. We will do the same thing. Amen. The universe will ring with our cries of praise God when we see our Creator, who is man and God, bring into existence at His Word. Amen. By new heaven and a new earth. Yes. But to be a part of that, by the power of God and total submission, you and I have to cast Satan out of our lives. Amen. Totally. Amen. Cast him out totally. We must begin with the total submission. And God will help you. You remember when we read the third temptation, Matthew 4, verse 11 says, Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Listen to me. If God sees you need help, Amen. and there isn't a human being around to pray with you, Amen. or pray for you, or listen to you, listen to me carefully. God is duty bound yeah. to send an angel. Amen. Because in that wilderness, Christ was alone. 40 days of fasting was a man, he must have collapsed. The Bible says angels came. That wasn't the first time in the Garden of Gethsemane, Mark, uh, Luke 22, verse 41 to 42, or 43. And he was withdrawn from them about the stones cast and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Verse 43. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him twice. And it may have happened more times, but not recorded. God sent an angel. Why? Because the disciples who should have backed him up yeah. Yeah. were sleeping. Mm. Understand this clearly. If God sees you need help, you're crying for help, and he can't find a human agent to send to your aid, he must send an angel. Amen. Amen. And if necessary, he'll send all the angels. Amen. Come on, say amen with more life. Amen. Because he will not leave you to fall if it is in your heart to stand for him. He Amen. cannot do it. Amen. So when you're alone and you think you're alone, where you're alone physically, 
Remember, God is no respect of persons. Amen. He will treat you the way he treated Christ. And if he sent an angel to Christ, when there were no human agents to support Christ, he must send an angel to you. Amen. Because the Lord is not willing that any should perish. And so I thank God that Jesus Christ as God cast Satan out. Amen. I thank God that Jesus Christ as man, trusting in God, cast Satan out Amen. and set the example for us. There is no reason for anyone listening to me in the pew or the pulpit to continue to be dominated by Satan. Amen. Unless that's what you want. And that cannot be what you want. And so I ask you again tonight, as I last you on many nights, is your surrender to God complete? Listen to James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourself to God. If you submit to someone who's in control, the person, I'll ask you a question, don't answer me. Who controls your life? Don't answer, don't answer, don't answer. Is it really Jesus? Examine your prayer life. Examine your church life. Examine your social life. Examine your reading life. Examine your television life. Who controls your life? Submit yourself to God. <clears throat> and it is from that position we can resist. Amen. In the presence of our Holy God, I ask you, will you not say, Father, as much as life in me, I submit my life to your control. How many will make that commitment tonight? And need it from your heart. Stand up with me. Five after eight. As much as life in me, because we do not know what is in us, as much as I am aware, I surrender and submit my life to Christ. And from that position, I want to resist Satan. Christ triumphant. Page 122, paragraph 3. To follow Christ, requires wholehearted conversion at the start and a repetition of this conversion every day which means the surrender you just made must be a daily act take five minutes father thank you for life i commit my life totally into your hands first thing in the morning last thing at night and quite possibly during the day heads bowed eyes closed loving father in heaven we thank you for the victory of Christ when he cast Satan out long before the worlds were made. We thank you for the victory of Christ when he defeated Satan as a human being in cooperation with you. Now that victory is available to us. It is required of us. No one will enter the pearly gates with the sin on the heart or in the life. Total victory is required. It is possible. The progression, Father, submit to you then resist, and the enemy will flee. If he comes back, let him come back, finding us still submitted, that we may resist again, he must flee again. Amen. Father in heaven, forgive us for the many times we did not trust you. Forgive us, dear God, for the many occasions on which we played with Satan, played around the edges of danger, put into our hearts a hatred for sin, and a love for righteousness. Give us an appreciation for a holy life, a love for decent, spiritually decent life, a not right life, dear God. Help us to hate sin and love that which is spiritual. Bless everyone under the sound of your manservant's voice. Take us home safely. Bring us back tomorrow again, dear God, we pray. In Jesus' name and for his sake, that all God's people say, Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you, my beloved friends. Come back tomorrow, please, and try to bring someone with you as I ask every night. <laughs>